at this is Star One Jerry 3.5 FM. And then we believe that you are doing well. My name is Jones Aji, and I'm here with Nanama Ajima. Nanama, good morning. Good morning, Jones. I'm blessed and highly favored. How about you? By God's grace, I'm also fine. You're I fine. Mean, we are alive. We thank God. Yeah. We thank God, God has plans God. for us. You know. We, 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 we give glory to Jaja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. All right. Um, let's start off from athletics. We've complained about the poor organization of the African Athletics uh, Championship happening in Douala, Cameroon. And Charlie, it's bad, it's bad. So yesterday it rained. And so um, the events that were supposed to come up, yesterday was supposed to be the last day. And the events that were supposed to come on, they didn't come on because of the rain. Mm. And so um, our high jumper, Cadman, would have to, hopefully it, it would happen today. But I don't know. Sometimes the rain affects these things and then it goes a long way to affect our athletes. This can as never well. happen in Europe. That it rained, so a tournament couldn't. I oh, no, oh, oh, oh. Ah, it happens. Ah, ah, I mean, no, 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 how, no, it happens. How, how even, even in the English Premier League, sometimes a, a rain distorts Premier Oh, yes. No, 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 no. To the extent that they will not play a game yes. at all. Yes, yes. Well, I, I remember. Give me an example. Oh, so uh, there was a Premier League game. There was a Premier League game. Where it in was recent canceled. time. Yes, it, in recent times mm -hmm. it, was, it was canceled. I'll get that for you. It was canceled because of a bad weather. They, they forecasted that it was going to rain heavily, and then it did. Mm -hmm. So that game, boys, they're my bets, no? <laughs> nice shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I remember because of the bets. It's nice shit. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, um, um, kudos kudos to our athletes in there. They, they, but it's been poor, and Africa, oh. we know they try. We know they try. All right, now let's talk about Kumase Asante Kotoko. Um, they, 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 they have been on. A mission to clear out. They are clearing now, out. Twenty-one players. Charlie, That's Charlie. A lot. They are clearing out everyone. So guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Sweet midfielder, Richmond Lamte, is set to leave. In fact, it's not set. He has left the club already. Yes. He said to join. Hey, Charlie, but we wonder too. It be some way. Oh. Hey, but Charlie, money they they. I mean, money they run. It's better than playing in the Ghana Premier League that they will give you four hundred CDs. As Madly Salah. Uh, Salah. So, so, so let, let me get a story for our listeners. Um, as I think of the comment for that, Richmond Lamte is close to joining Rwandan club, a Rwandan club after mutually parting ways with the Ghanaian club. The termination of his contract comes after a disappointing end to the 2023-2024 season and it follows the club's significant squad clearance. So Lamte, who had two months remaining on his contract, will now leave as a free agent and uh, is free to join a club of his choice. So according to reports, Ami... Patriotic Rewind Day FC have reached an agreement with the former Inter Allies midfielder. He's expected to arrive in Rwanda later this week for medical examination before signing his contract. He becomes um, the 21st or 20th player to depart Asante Kotoko after the release of some 19 players earlier mm -hmm. this month. So the fans have been speaking. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Let me tell you, first of all, congratulations to Rich Monlamte. Mm. I am for anyone who wants to leave the Ghana Premier League. Uh, wait, wait. I, but no, I wait, 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 wait. Chill, chill, chill. Yeah. Chill. Let me talk. Talk. Okay. Le uh, we are listening. Let me talk. Please talk. The Ghana Premier League. Do you know anyone who plays in the Ghana Premier League? Of course, you have an idea how yes. much they are being paid. Yeah. They are winning bonuses. Sometimes they are not, be they are not being paid for so many months. They have family members. Wait. Yeah. I'm listening. <laughs> they have family members. Right. They have girls. Main chicks and side chicks to take care of. Okay. They have a lot of responsibilities. Yeah. Then for Shada. Yeah. Then for do things for yeah. themselves. Yeah. Richmond Lamte. Then is for one save. Of, yes. For the future. The economy to the hit Time boys. To the goal. Charlie. He's not getting any younger. Yeah. So he has so to make sense. that move. I don't even know why fans feel so entitled. Fans of Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Akra had to fuck. They feel so entitled. Yeah. You people too, you don't do anything in the for team. The players. Hey, 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 please, like, please. stretches are not in, in place. Yeah. Nothing at all. Yeah. They have to leave. This boy has been to a lot. He played for Wafa, moved to Interlight. That is when the match fixing allegation yeah, 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 happened. Yeah, yeah, happened yeah. And then he moved to Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Kotoko. Okay. He, he's he, a good player. Yeah, he he's didn't a play very, for a month. Yeah. I understand. Kumasi Asante Kotoko, they stuck by him. Yeah. I mean, I remember Nanaya Amponsa is yeah. one of the people that made sure that Rich he, Molante yeah, yeah. is playing yeah. till now. Yeah. And I know he's grateful to him. But I mean, Nanaya Amponsa has even left to Moldova. Mm. So, I mean... He's also making waves exactly. there. Exactly. He has to he has to move. The fact that you guys were with him in difficult times does not mean that he, he owes his life to you guys. Mm. He has to go. Hey. He has to go. Hey, even if it is Iran... 
where the war is happening, they should go. So it, far as they will get money. money. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it, 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 it has got, it has become so bad that even if it's a team in Nigeria. Yes. So if far as you make a lot of money. In Cote d'Ivoire. So uh, you, you can't blame him. You can't, you can't blame, blame him. The fans should just leave him yeah. alone. Yeah. It's, 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 it's something that goes, I, the sense of entitlement is too much. It's way too much. If he was your family member, will you say this? I mean, I've, I've read so many comments. Right. I mean, right. he's a captain. I mean, he was yeah. the captain of the team. Yeah. He didn't really have a good season. The boy has been through a lot, too. Charlie, a lot. Charlie, Charlie. All right. Um, so that will be that for Kumasi and Tikotoko. And we, yesterday, we also spoke about the uh, issue with coaches being replaced after the qualified teams to the higher league. So I, I know of someone who qualified um, a team to the Division 1 league from the Division 2, and then he was replaced. Uh, my good friend, my boss, Coach Christian Chibuizi, he qualified the team from Division mm. 2 to Division 1, and then he was replaced. He doesn't have license, what? Is uh, it the A and B and Yes, th that, and then, so it has also happened to Vision FC, Hamza Bank. So, I mean, we'll be having a conversation, and um, I think, yes, we have him on the line, Eric Eliagi. He is the PRO for the Volta Regional Football Association. He's also the PRO for Pandu Hearts of Lions. Uh, he's a big man. He's a big man. Uh, he also works with GBC Volta Star in the Volta region. And then he's the SRC president for EP Investing. So he's a big man. Hello, Eric. Uh, good morning. If you can hear me, thank you so much for joining us on uh, Sports Chat. Uh, good morning, John. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Right. So uh, let's talk. I mean, you've been doing this football thing for over 15 years now. What's uh, our coach is not doing right because a team, a coach is playing a league, he knows that uh, there's a possibility of him qualifying and then he qualifies and then he's replaced. Is it good? I mean, that, does it help the team? Does it help the coach? Thank you so much. Uh, good morning to yourself and to um, your listeners. I think um, in the perspective of um, whoever was affected by this decision, um, it's not a good development. Uh, to those who actually followed him and then gave him um, their support during the Division One campaign, this will not be a good development. Uh, because uh, they think uh, one is been able to qualify a team from the World of Ghana football, he should be able to actually do well in the Premier League. And uh, because of how um, he understudied the team, knows the team philosophy, and then also has been able to uh, to gain valuable experience uh, from the second tier, uh, that could translate uh, positively into the Premier League. But if you look at it from um, a, management, uh, a management point of view or a managerial point of view and uh, ownership uh, ideas, uh, you look at criteria, you look at uh, qualifications to the Premier League, uh, you could just easily say that yeah, the decision uh, should be made. Because once it is a criteria, a uh, legitimate criteria, that if you don't hold license A, you cannot be named a head coach of a Premier League club, then automatically you shot yourself uh, in the foot. Um, I think our coaches need to be doing much more better. Uh, I, I, I listened to some experienced coaches on the, on the terrain uh, who said, look, uh, coaching is no longer a hobby or is no longer passion. It is not a profession where you must acquire the, the, the nurse certificate to be able to actually operate in your uh, profession. Once you are a coach and you are given opportunity to coach a Division One team, uh, you should be looking at the possibility of uh, Premier League team calling and uh, also the possibility of even joining in our know, national uh, teams. So our coaches must be happy in doing. I remember um, uh, Coach uh, Adamu, uh, Sule Adamu, um, the year House of Lions lost the, um, the, the league title to the Royals. Um, uh, their, their protest won against House of Lions. Sule Adamu was a license B uh, holder. The following season, management brought in Fatal Salifu, because he was a license A, and he was tasked to steer the club to the Premier League. So it, it, it's one of the things that happens when a team qualifies uh, from um, the, the lower division to the higher division, because obviously 
the, the, the team will not like to infringe upon any uh, regulation that actually uh, bars them to have um, such an individual on their bench. Right. But one thing that I know a uh, teams also do is that they name a head coach and in fact, Jones, I don't know whether you remember the issue of uh, Rangers then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I remember name, Rangers, yeah. Exactly, yeah, exactly. When they name a coach as a head coach that we've never seen <laughs> during league matches. I I I remember. I, I is, remember is, that is that, yes, I remember. Is that right? Is that right? Could, can it, teams it, do it, that? It's just, it's just one of the things clubs do uh, to to actually meet the eligibility criteria. Because if if you don't have if you don't have an answer A holder, obviously you cannot you cannot name an answer B holder uh, a, a head coach of a Premier League club, not for the other divisions. So a uh, Premier League clubs or coaches in Ghana must also take a clue from this consistent occurrence so that the moment you are you are starting uh, to go higher, you should also be looking at your certificate. How do I upgrade myself? So issues of this nature should not happen. But Eric, uh, I know Hamza very yeah, well. Yeah, if uh, one finds them to practically yeah. very good, look at how he negotiated his curve to the division, uh, the, the division one zone three. He qualified the team in a grand style, even, even when there were other competitors coming through. Uh, Akram coming through. You saw Kokwe United, uh, um, um, uh, Okwe United, yeah. all trying their possible best now, God, mm. to, to actually still qualification. Yeah. So, but so, we managed to so, so, show so, through. So, don't, don't you think it's a matter of, I uh, mean, probably how expensive it is to get a calf license A and then how difficult it is to find the course, I mean, in Ghana? It, it is expensive, but it has been expensive since because it looks more like an elite kind of thing. That is that is how come we don't have so much of like A holders uh, across the globe. Um, it is not something that is just open to everybody that, oh, just, just go and take this. No. Because it is an elite kind of thing you must spend. Even, even the like C that DFA organized the other day, I was told it is it, it, almost 5,000. There about. So the moment you, are, you you the moment you aspire to go higher, you should be able to commit yourself to this upgrade. Um, it's, I I I heard briefly that it's been a while. The uh, the FA organized the Lancers A um a cup Lancers A uh, coaching course, but I I also want to say that the the certificate is is is, is equivalent across every uh, across the globe. So if you are holding, let's say a Europa. So even if it's been a while that uh, that has been organized, which I am not, I am not too much uh, aware of because I don't have the facts. If it's even been a while, let me go to Togo and go and see the calf license. Hey, it is, it is as if okay, so, as so, you, so you, you, you can you can go outside Ghana, get a calf license, probably in Nigeria yeah. or Benin, and then still coaching Ghana. Yes, right. Right. It is it is, it is cut license. It is equivalent. The only the only difference is that the it is uh, the it, it, if you if it is cut it is common but it is UFA and UFA license B is equivalent as cut license A. Okay. Depending okay. on the the cost element. All right. But right. on the African right. continent, if you are ten cut license A in Benin and are ten cut license A in Ghana, it is equivalent. Okay. And if okay. opportunities are not right here for us mm. coaches can 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 just step out there get a certificate come back here and operate and coach okay eric uh, thank you so much for speaking to us quick one how is it uh i plan to heart of lions and uh, you guys charlie escape relegation by the skin of the teeth what are we yes. expecting from you guys in pre-season and then next season well um the immediately we, we finished under against the team uh, the team uh, actually uh, broke camp uh, Coach Garcia K. Ford um, is uh, is going to stay with us. Uh, we'll be calling a place back to camp. I am very very much aware that there there is going to be some reinforcement uh, of our our men uh, that will be doing battle for us. Uh, the calendar for the upcoming season, uh, to be very honest, I don't have it yet. Uh, I uh, if I have that, I will, I will share uh, with you. But um, I know. Some few players uh, who actually be, be be brought in to to actually strengthen the team that we have currently. So okay. just be uh, just be expecting okay. some some okay. news from okay. from the okay. camp. Okay. So so Bashi Hufford is staying. 
I, I can't confirm or, or deny. I it, it is managerial decision. But then as of now, he's still the coach of Panthers of Lions. Yes, yes. Okay. Nobody okay. Has, has announced that he's gone. All um, right. All he right. came in to, to actually yeah. rescue us. He said he was on a rescue mission. Okay. But I think with the work that he has done with Heart of Lions, uh, it might maybe take a personal decision to say, mm, I not. want to go. Okay. Because yes, okay. he has, he has okay. done what we some of us were, were thinking was, he's, was he's, not doable, yeah. but mm. he has really achieved. Okay. And then okay. the all right, thank you so much, and all the best in the Vota Division to Middle League today. Thank you. Yeah, it's getting exciting. Yeah, uh, yesterday, yeah. uh, 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 two matches couldn't actually mm, happen because of the rain. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. because of, I mean, we'll get back to you probably, hopefully, uh, tomorrow, and then we'll get details on that. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thanks right. for that. All right. So, um, that was PRO of the Vota Regional uh, Football Association. He is the PRO of Pandu Hearts of Lions as well. And then he has been speaking, of, of course, he, he's a, a journalist with GBC Voter Star Radio. And he's been speaking on it. Coaches should upgrade. Nanama, that's the, that's the way. Oh, yeah. They, mm. should, they should upgrade. If you know you are in need to ah. coach, not for fun, yeah, Charlie. Because me, investment I, I, I in it. I know I'll work for FIFA one day. Yeah. But so I'm, 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 you're I'm upgrading, no, FIFA it. lady. Yes. I don't want to get someone and say, oh, you don't have this um, certificate. Yeah. So you can't work yeah. for FIFA. No. So far as you, you have high G, you mm. have potentials yeah. you know where you want to get to you should work towards it now 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 but it's rather unfortunate if you can't have that license a in ghana yeah it's about time the gfa right the gfa they are responsible yeah, yeah, for yeah, them yeah. but i know so, they have been organizing courses for yes, them for their, at uh, yeah, yeah yeah so i mean a but, license but a, it's, it's very expensive though it's see, very very expensive you have to invest in yourself thank you because it will yield the necessary result <laughs> all right so uh let's get to the euros <laughs> All right, so Georgia stand Portugal with a brilliant 2-0 win to secure a qualification for the last 16 at the Euro 2024 in their first major tournament. Now, Turkey recorded a 2-1 win over Czech Republic, who were left to wonder whether a controversial red card may have caused their progression. And in the knockout stages, hmm, Spain would take on Georgia, uh, Germany would play Denmark, Portugal would face Slovenia, France would come up, come up against Belgium. Big game, big game, big game. Romania would take on the Netherlands. Austria, my team. Yes, I'm now supporting Austria. They would take on Turkey. England, Charlie. <laughs> England would play against Slovakia. And then Switzerland would face Italy. So the possibility of Luke Shaw returning to the English side is very, very high. His coach took a gamble in taking the 28 year old to Germany. And then he hasn't played football since February. But then it is understood that he might have. A start against Slovakia and the Copa America. Um, Ecuador beat Jamaica by three goals to one. Today, Venezuela would face Mexico and Panama uh, would see uh, Panama take on USA later today. So, England, um, they will take on Slovakia and we will give you all the breakdown of that on the game. My name is Jones Ajay. I was here with Nana Majimai and uh, the morning show continues. Speak right is up next.